And welcome back to the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller back with you on Tuesday, September 10th. Let's talk about stagnant energy. <laughs> like I was saying yesterday, it's like this week looks pretty much the same day to day. The big patterns that are in place, which we've talked about, let's just review. On the good side, we have this beautiful mystic rectangle that is connecting all of our personal planets, which are all in Virgo right now. Mars, the Sun, Mercury, and Venus are all stacked up in Virgo. And they are in a beautiful trine with Saturn, the South Node, and Pluto, our big three. That means that this transformational work that is coming from Saturn and Pluto, which are still both in retrograde, is connecting with our very essence in a positive way. Okay? There's no other way you can read that. And then we have a positive aspect, a sextile, with Saturn, Pluto, and the South Node, the big three, over to Neptune. So that brings a beautiful spiritual dimension into this. And even though Neptune is also retrograde, you know, you could take all this retrograde activity and just bring it that this work is about inside. It's inside stuff. And that is all tied up to our North Node which is our soul slash karmic purpose. And that's in a favorable relationship back with the personal planets in Virgo. So the big triangle just screams personal transformational work in a favorable light. And that's why I've been saying is, if you're going through some stuff, the only way that I can see this is in the chart that it's got positive areas. So where could these challenges be coming from? I mean, we have all this support, right? So where are the challenges coming from? Well, again, let's go back to the personal planets. Everybody's in Virgo. So Mars, the Sun, Mercury, and Venus, just to keep that in mind, are squared with Jupiter. Now, typically, you wouldn't connect that with challenges. You'd connect that with, well, things might not move forward as fast as you would like, but, you know, not that, it's not like disruptive energy. It's just slow you down energy kind of thing, or maybe things just won't move forward quite as much. And Jupiter is square with Neptune, and Neptune is opposite the personal planets in Virgo. So there's some tension there around the spiritual and intuitive side. So your in, inside lens maybe is not as sharp as possible. Malcolm Gladwell, with his book Blink, might say your blinker is, is bulb is burned out. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it that way. That's a good way to put it. Your blinker bulb is burned out. Go up to the parts store and get another one and replace it. So that aspect is going to move off. Uh, it doesn't actually clear all the way until the 21st of September. So we're with it for a little bit yet. But that's not this big malefic deal. And there's nothing else in the chart really that is indicating where this tense energy that people are feeling might be coming from, except Uranus. <laughs> Good old Uranus, which is now in retrograde in Taurus. So when Uranus moved from Aries to Taurus, and by the way, the planet Uranus, being one of the outer planets, moves slowly. So it takes about seven years to go through a sign. It first moved into Taurus last fall, and it got about six degrees in, and then it went retrograde, started turning backwards. So it's going to come back to Aries and tip into Aries, which is going to have us clean up some Aries business, and then it's going to turn around and go back into Taurus. So what does Uranus mean in Taurus? I thought since the chart really doesn't change from today to tomorrow, but let's dedicate tomorrow to looking at Uranus in Taurus. And we'll see if maybe some of those areas might be affecting us with this tension now that Uranus has turned around and is going backwards. So we'll do that in tomorrow's episode. Moon is in Aquarius today and tomorrow. So a little bit of oddity, a little bit of weirdness could show up. 
But again, it's not in any kind of big malefic state. And just remember, this big rectangle is holding on to whatever happens is for your good. Don't let go of that. I'll see you tomorrow.